The next thing I'm going to do while she's still in this position, anterior scalenes. Nobody likes to do anterior scalenes because they start digging in there and in the front and you can create a bunch of problems. We're not going to do that. Well, this is a tricky little thing that I came up with in class one day. You can see this groove here possibly. I'm going to cup my soft webbed fingers in here and come up on the front of the anterior tubercles, which are the transverse processes in the neck. I'm not on the nerve roots, I'm not on the carotid artery, I'm on the anterior tubercles. I'm going to get my body positioned so that as I have this nice little grip here, I'm going to pull her head and neck into extension and my look at the drive of my fingers. It goes that direction, pushing the anterior scalenes down away from their firm attachments on the anterior tubercles the transverse processes. Feeling for dysfunction. Stretching anterior scalenes. You notice I don't put her head on neck in, into too much hyperextension. You don't want to do that. This technique actually feels good. It is not a painful technique and it should not be a painful technique.